Good morning. Our hymn today is entitled, There Shall Be Showers of Blessing. I will call showers to come down in their season. There shall be showers of blessing. This is from Ezekiel 34 and 26. There Shall Be Showers of Blessing was written by Major Daniel Whittle. It's one of those songs, if learned in childhood, is never forgotten. Based on Ezekiel 34:26, it uplifts us with a happy assurance of God's unceasing blessing on our lives, even during our worst days. When Howard Rutledge's plane was shot down over Vietnam, he parachuted into a little village and was immediately attacked and imprisoned. For the next seven years, he endured brutal treatment. His food was little more than a bowl of pig fat. He was frequently cold, alone, and often tortured. How did he keep his sanity? In his book, In the Presence of Mine Enemies, Rutledge wrote, I wanted to talk about God and Christ and the church, but in heartbreak, the name of his concentration camp, there was no pastor, no Sunday school teacher, no Bible, no hymn book. I had completely neglected the spiritual dimension of my life. It took prison to show me how empty life is without God. And so I had to go back in my memory to those Sunday school days in Tulsa, Oklahoma. If I couldn't have a Bible and a hymn book, I would try to rebuild them in my mind. I tried desperately to recall gospel courses from childhood and hymns we sang in church. The first three dozen songs were relatively easy. Every day I'd try to recall another verse or another song. One night there was a huge thunderstorm. It was a season of the monsoon, monsoon rains and a bolt of lightning knocked out the lights and plunged the entire prison into darkness. I had been going over hymn tunes in my mind and stopped to lie down and sleep when the rains began to fall. The darkened prison echoed with wave after wave of water. Suddenly, I was humming my 37th song, one I had entirely forgotten since childhood. Showers of blessing, showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops around us are falling, but for the showers we plead. The enemy knew that the best way to break a man's resistance was to crush his spirit in the lonely cell. In other words, some of our POWs after solitary confinement lay down in a fetal position and died. All this talk of scripture and hymns may seem boring to some, but it was the way we conquered our enemy and overcame the power of death around us. So let's just look for those showers of blessing that's promised to be with us. So don't forget to come back next Monday for another hymn of Cheryl's Cherished Hymns. And if you're on Facebook, just go to Cheryl's Cherished Hymn. If you're on YouTube, just type in Cheryl Hawk and go to one of the playlists of either hymns or offertories, kids' stories, or accordions.